she go. But you be damn let me go. <laughs> you be damn let me go. <laughs> no, y'all. Have a blessed one. Have a blessed one. Sometimes you just gotta be still. <sighs> Breathe from the belly. Just let it all, just take it all in sometimes. It could be worse. It could be better. But in this moment, this is what it's meant to be. What about the way that you seem to conserve some energy? You ran 10 flat and you can run much faster than that. Was that important here in this first round not to give out too much? Um, definitely this first round. More so just execution. Focusing in, having that energy and performance tomorrow for semis and finals and just putting it all together, taking it round by round, event by event. All right, you know the world has been waiting to see what you'll do on this stage. What are your expectations of yourself? The world about the world anymore. I've seen the world be my friend. I've seen the world turn on me. But at the end of the day, I've always been with me. God has always been with me. So being on this scale now, it's my time. It's always been my time. But now it's my time to actually do it for myself. And the people that felt like me, the people that look like me, and the people that know their truth about themselves as well, I represent those people. Thanks for stopping, Shakira. This is how rich people eat their food. When the fork is on the left and the knife is on the right, it means they're ready to start. When the knife and the fork are facing each other diagonally, it means they're taking a pause, probably to go to the bathroom. When the utensils are parallel to each other on top of the plate, it means that you're finished. But if they're perpendicular, it means you're ready to move on to the next dish. When the food is done, if the utensils are placed sideways, it means the meal was excellent. However, if they're crossing like this, it means it was bad. And if you ever see the utensils upside down crossing each other, it means the service was off.